Wait, what? This is a new segment we're calling. Wait, what? And this article is about lab-grown black hole behaves just like Stephen Hawking said it would. Wait, what? There's lab-grown black holes? Well, not really. I skipped over an important word in that sentence. For dramatic val- Oh, wait. For dramatic value. Okay. A lab-grown black hole analog behaves just like Stephen Hawking said it would. Uh, Have there been any black holes created by scientists on Earth? No. How do we know this? Because the Earth hasn't been sucked into a singularity? Not exactly true. Uh, We're going to look at this in a minute. A black hole could be created in New Jersey and not suck all the Earth into it. But... Let's take a look at this story first. This is a black hole analog, uh, roughly created um, uh, uh, out of sound. Not really, but in this analog, instead of light waves or photons, particles of light that also behave like waves, They're using phonons, which are quantum particles of sound. Just like light can sort of act like a particle or sort of act like a wave on a surface, uh, depending on how you look at it. Sound waves also can look sort of like particles at the quantum level under certain conditions. Sound waves, which are generally waves in air, in the fluid we live in, called air, uh, or or they could propagate through uh, uh, solids or or liquids as well. You can hear underwater, you can hear under rock, (laughs) and you can hear in air. You can't hear in outer space because it needs something to to ripple on. Um, So... Researchers have put together a black hole analog, which was sort of like, uh, okay, well, here's 8,000 rubidium atoms cooled to near absolute zero and held in a laser beam. Pretty cool. So they have these atoms all in a very low energy state squished together. And they, be, they go into a state of matter known as the Bose-Einstein condensate, or Beck. Famous folk rock guitarist. When atoms are in that state, they act in unison as if they were a single atom. That's cool. So they, in this, like, uh, uh, sitting suspended in this laser beam hovering there is an atom the size of 8,000 rubidium atoms. And rubidium atoms aren't small. I don't know how many protons they have, but basically you have a a giant atom. Probably still smaller than you can see with the naked eye, but it's giant for an atom. Okay, it's not a black hole. So, But what they did, they added a second laser beam creating a cliff of potential energy. The second laser beam added energy such that the gas began to flow. It says here flow like a rushing waterfall, but that gives the wrong connotation like it was falling off. Imagine uh, as a ball of rubidium, uh, this giant rubidium atom, and the water is rushing. It's not really water, but uh, uh, the, 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 it, it, it's, it's a ball of rushing liquid sort of 
that's all going around in a circle around the ball in various ways like clouds go around the earth they added energy until one half of the gas was flowing faster than the speed of sound and the other half of the gas is flowing slower so you have two different sort of liquids in this ball moving at different speeds and in that form they can create phonons which are little what seem to be there's they're, they're sort of waves but they're also sort of act like particles little phonons and the phonons to the phonons this is a uh, an event horizon uh, uh, a movie that, that's better in retrospect because I've seen it recently than I remembered it being. Uh, the, this, the event horizon stops... Well, it sort of creates a, a an analog to Hawking radiation. What's Hawking radiation? Yeah, we should we could uh, talk about that for a second. Um, let's go to the drawing board. Oh, is my drawing board working? Come on. Let's see if I can connect my tablet and go to this drawing board. It does not seem to be working very well. Okay. Well, Hawking radiation is something that Stephen Hawking uh, conjectured to exist, but he never proved it. In fact, it hasn't been proven at all, but we think it, it seems to be true, which is that a, a black hole, which is people generally know there's an event horizon around it that that once you get past it, you can never get out of, even if you go as fast as if you run as fast as you possibly can as as, as you even you Usain Bolt can't run his way out of this black hole once they get in they're stuck because there's this horizon now out in the space we know or at least there's this uh, the quantum mechanics says that little pairs of particles boop, are constantly popping in and out of existence and immediately they annihilate each other. It's like a, a matter and antimatter and they, a piece of matter and a little piece of antimatter both pop up next to each other in space and they fly around for a fraction of a second and then immediately like a little infinity symbol pop and, they make, and they, that's the sound they make and they disappear forever and this is happening everywhere in space there's little just boiling particles that are popping in and out of existence all the time it's sort of it's almost like the ether. It's like the background noise of, of space. But interesting thing about this Event Horizon, a movie that I liked more than I thought I would when I rewatched it, is that sometimes these little virtual particles can pop up, bing, on one side, and the other one, bing, on the other side of the Event Horizon. And Hawking said, what would happen if one of those particles foos, had enough energy to foos, zip away and the other one got sucked into the black hole now instead of two little particles forming and then annihilating you have two particles forming and staying put and staying in the universe and one of them uh, radiates out and the other one goes into the black hole and Hawking said well this would 
make black holes radiate energy out and also this particle that went in evaporates starts to uh it, it, it it's think of it as antimatter the little piece of antimatter evaporates the black hole so he said black holes don't last forever they eventually they waste away like a puddle in Arizona in the summer let's go back to which one where were we uh, we're on wait what okay so that's what Hawking radiation is and this experiment that was just done in um, the study co-author Jeff Steinhauer from the Technion Israel Institute of Technology uh, is one of the people involved researchers at the Technion Israel Institute of Technology did just that uh, and just that being creating their own black holes analog it says black what, which is why scientists are creating their own black holes okay misleading here's an article from a couple of years ago 2016 physicists have created a black hole in a lab that could could prove Hawking radiation exists and guess what so this new article which is in livescience.com from four days ago well they've done it it took four years anyway where were we so just like the hawking radiation is is is, is light is photons it's light light radiation evaporating off of the event horizon of a black hole they found that phonons can radiate out from this sort of liquid uh event horizon that they that they made in this rubidian amount. Um, what is a phonon? Let's take another look. This is Wikipedia. A phonon is a collective excitation in a periodic elastic arrangement of atoms or molecules in condensed matter, specifically in solids and some liquids, referred to as a quasi particle. Okay, blah, blah, blah. It's sort of a wave. <clears throat> It's a wave in matter, uh, but it's not, and it, and it acts like a particle in some ways in uh, tiny, tiny, tiny places. <coughs> Excuse me, it's not COVID. Okay, one more thing on this topic, mini black holes. Here's an article from 2013 mini black holes are easier to make than we thought okay i looked into it scientists have not created any black holes on earth yet and i remember some very breathless hysterical articles when the the, the cern particle accelerator opened that there might be mini black holes created by the Large Hadron Collider, or, or uh, it says here, it, uh, scientists wondered if it might become a black hole factory, black, creating a black hole every second. So this article is saying for 2013 that it's actually theoretically much easier than we once thought to create a black hole from two tiny particles colliding. All you need is a certain density. When you get to a very high density, uh, even if it's a very tidy amount of matter, it could become a black hole. But notably, one common misconception about small black holes is that they would swallow the Earth. With as much confidence as we can say anything in science, this is impossible. Why? I know you're thinking, they shouldn't try to make black holes because they're tinkering with the earth ending 
Uh, it's absolutely not true. Tiny, well, well, according to Stephen Hawking, tiny black holes should shrink uh, via the evaporation of the Hawking radiation we just talked about uh, faster than they grow. But even more reassuring, uh, even if they didn't evaporate, microscopic black holes would be uh, would be if they were created in a particle accelerator they should keep enough speed to escape from earth's gravity uh what does that mean i guess if if it got created in a particle accelerator it'd probably shoot away and go somewhere else but even if it did get trapped they're so tiny it would take one, it would take one of these mini black holes more than the current age of the universe to destroy even a milligram of earth matter. The reason why a tiny black hole is way different than a black hole in space is because we, we think of, think of the, the sun, the mass of the sun. Uh, most black holes are much more massive than the sun. And that's billions and billions of times uh, uh, what, a, what a, a mini tiny black hole would be. And it's important to remember that if our sun was replaced by a black hole with the same mass of the Earth, it would be, I mean, the same mass of the, the sun, we'd be fine, except we, we'd need the sunlight. But we wouldn't be pulled into it. We would just keep rotating we would keep uh, revolving uh, around it just as if it was the sun because the gravity of a black hole the size of the sun is the same as the gravity of the sun at this distance gravity depends on the mass so we could be fine here if the sun was a black hole um, and we could be fine if tiny black holes appeared in our largest of hadron colliders just wanted to cover that because i used to be afraid of a tiny black hole in fact i read um, somewhere that if a tiny black hole the size of a miniature particle came screaming through the earth it might go right through you and you wouldn't even feel it and it would keep going so you might have been shot by a black hole and not even known it. Wait, what? That's what. <laughs>